Veggie Mike Ellis. Hello. Back for more out there on the internet, out on the lines, putting it out there. Uh, today I want to talk to you about, think about this. If, if you're against veganism, or the idea of vegan, you know, someone who does not exploit animals uh, in every way practicable, that's what it means, to not use animals as a commodity. The idea of being angry with vegans, do you, you find yourself feeling angry? <sighs> angry. I hate the idea of vegans, you know what I mean? <sighs> You know what I mean? So, because there is a, we meet with anger, vegans meet with a lot of anger, so sometimes. So, and there are angry vegans too, right? So let, let's think about that, the anger. It could really be on both sides of the issue, isn't there some anger, you know what I mean? I think we, for one, let's try to let go of all the anger on both sides of this issue, you know what I mean? But what, what's the source of the anger? Think about it. What's the, why? Why the anger? Why are vegans angry? And why would people be angry to uh, the idea of being vegan? So, first of all, vegans, are, I'll tell you why. I'm vegan, so I'll tell you why vegans are angry. <laughs> um, and, I, and we're not all angry outwardly, right? So some of us are very outwardly angry. Um, some vegans yell and scream at people even. I don't agree with that. I don't condone that. I certainly do not condone violence. No violence. Please, no violence, ever. To fight against violence, you know, exploiting animals, harming animals, with violence, it doesn't make sense, does it? Right? Violence that just begets more violence. So no, no violence. Okay. Um, but I understand. What about anger? It's just an emotion. You don't have to act in a violent way to respond to anger. But where's the anger coming from? Right. So I can tell you, as a vegan, it comes from the fact that there are literally billions of animals, actually trillions with the, when you count sea life per year, the animals just being slaughtered right now for completely, you know, senseless reasons, just palate pleasure, basically, uh, we've always done it this way, you know, if you're not vegan, you've said it all, what about protein, you know, nutritional ignorance, things like that, no offense, but people just don't understand the nutrition behind things, so um, not to be insulting. Um, just the idea, though, that vegans are angry because we know we faced that there are victims, just like dogs and cats, I mean, picture this. I mean, if there, you lived in a world where people treated dogs and cats the way we treat farm animals in our world, um, then would you be angry too? You know what I mean? I mean, they slice babies' throats open. If they did that to kittens and dogs, if they ground up uh, little babies, you know, little uh, puppies and kittens alive like they do in the, to male chicks in the egg industry... Um, by the millions, if not billions a year. I've heard different figures on that, but the low end, 40 million a year of male chicks just ground alive on the day they're born. So if they treated puppies and kittens in the same manner, wouldn't you be angry? You know what I mean? Maybe a little angry if people were just dismissive, like, oh, plants feel pain. And plus, like, we've always done it, you know, so we should just keep doing it, you know. Like, we always let, didn't let women vote, too. You know what I mean? We always bought and sold people until we stopped. Like, there's a lot of horrible things that we did, and we just kept doing it because we do, you know, that's what we always done, you know what I mean? Um, or tastes good, you know. Uh, there's no nutritional need for to eat animal products. That's just a fact because we have nutritional science that can prove that. So it's like saying the earth is flat uh, from a scientific basis. So, um, you know, there's a lot of information out there about that. Um, but the point being that that's why vegans are angry. So think about the idea of being angry with someone. So the idea of being angry at someone who's for animal rights. So it's to simply... A vegan position is an animal rights position. It is, it's not right for me, it's not fair for me to use animals like a commodity, and buy and sell their lives, their enslavement, their murder, like we're buying a cell phone or a car or, you know, a deck of cards or a soda. You know what I mean? That we're just treating them like, eh, you know what I mean? There's the commodity. So it's, it's being against doing that. That's it, in practice, you know, it's an animal rights position. It's actually impossible I'll do another video on this, whether it's possible to be for, for animal rights and not be vegan. I want to do a video about that. Um, but it's an animal rights position, okay? So if someone's in favor of civil rights, who are the people that fight against the people who are for civil rights? Think about that. What is that? What is your position? If you're against civil rights, what does that mean? If you're against women's rights, people who are, if you fight against the people or are angry with the people that are for just simply women being equal in society and not being treated like property, uh, you know, or minorities, or any, any group, any group, any kind of, you know, senseless violence or oppression, right? To be against the group that's fighting to defend 
the, the, the innocent, the, the victims, and try to defend them and try to bring them the rights that they deserve, to fight against them, what side are you on? There is a side. You have to pick a... Yes, there's their sides. Yes, there's sides. Yes, some things are actually black and white. Being in, in favor of senseless violence and oppression with my money, by paying for it to happen, I'm making a choice every day, and it's a choice. It is a choice. I've been vegan for over four years. I just buy something out. You reach for a different shelf at the store. You know what I mean? It's really tough. It's so hard to reach for a different shelf. You know what it is? It's, it, the only thing that's hard is, is, is standing up against the species of society that treats animals like commodities. And your own friends and family, they think that they're being attacked. You, you, if you're not vegan, you feel like you're being attacked when you get angry at the idea of a vegan. The idea that, oh my goodness, there's someone who refuses to do this. Maybe, who are you really angry with? Think about that. Who, where is the anger really coming from? Are you angry maybe with a society that made you think that this is okay? That, that, that you've done this your whole, <coughs> whole life? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, who, where should the anger really be placed? Do you know what I mean? Maybe it should be placed with me for doing this. For, you know, I'm angry with myself for waiting so long to go vegan. 42 years. So, just saying. Think about the, where the source of the anger and what, what's up with the anger. And yeah, other vegans, no more anger with people and screaming at people. And no violence. Never violence. Peaceful. Peaceful. Educate people. Talks like this. Calm talks. Not telling people they're evil. If you're not vegan, no. You're not a bad person. And I'm not going to tell you that. You're not. You're raised in a society that treats animals like a commodity, like a thing. And our parents did it, and our parents before them, and on and on it went. And it's time. It's done. Go vegan. Go vegan. Because we owe it to the animals. We owe it to the victims. We owe it to them. Thanks for watching.